Hi everybody, welcome back to the Bolt Hole Biker. Today I'm going to be changing these OEM brake discs, which I've had on the bike since it was new, but they're starting to warp, which is really annoying when you're braking, because the braking, it sort of pulses as you're braking. I don't like that at all. Uh, I'm changing them for these Galfa wavy discs, which are, they're still the, the OEM discs, the Galfa are the discs that KTM use. These, these are Galfa discs as well. But these wavy discs are an upgrade and they are supposed to improve the braking by 25%. The brakes on the Duke 790 aren't bad, I just want them better. And I like the look of the wavy disc as well. And as I've mentioned on numerous occasions, the modifications to this bike are by and large a vanity project. I just want it to look really cool. This is my standard method of raising the front of my bikes in this garage. I've just got a very handy RSJ here. First thing to do when removing the front wheel is to take off the speed sensor, which is a T30 Torx screw. That's the screw out, and then you just remove the sensor there. I'll give that a bit of a clean up. Okay, next thing to do is to remove the brake calipers on both sides which is a T45 Torx. And I'll give the brakes a bit of a clean whilst I'm at it as well. Okay, next thing to do is to crack the axle screw which is a 12 mil Allen key. And I'm gonna use that to give it a little bit of leverage. Next, there's two axle screws under here, which are a six mil Allen key, which you need to just loosen off. This just releases the axle. I'm gonna take the weight of the wheel and just slide this axle out. So that's your front axle. Then you remove your wheel spacers. That's the spacer. And then on the other side, that's the other spacer. And then that's the wheel free. T40. Make sure your spaces are in. 
re-grease the spindle. Just done loosely. So next thing to do is to reinstall the brake calipers. So we've widened that gap so that it fits over the disc comfortably, just like that. I've cleaned the screw up and I'm putting Loctite on. The screws that hold the brake calipers are tightened to 45 Newton meters. 44, 45. 45 mil torques. And then reinstall the speed sensor. The speed sensor screw is tightened to 10 Newton meters of torque. So I've had to get me different torque wrench out for this. And same for the other side. I've widened the pads so they fit over the disc nice and comfortably. That's it. Two screws in with Loctite. Okay, so for the next bit, I'm gonna to have to drop the ramp because you need to compress the forks a few times. Okay, to do this final procedure of getting the, the fork leg straight, I'm gonna take the bike off the ramp because you need to compress the forks a few times just to get them straightened up before you tighten up the retaining screws and give a final pinch to that um, axle screw. So I'm gonna take it off the lift. So currently the wheel's on, the axle's in, and I've just got these screws just lightly pinched and the, the main axle screw just lightly pinched. So I'm now gonna compress the forks a few times. Oh, sorry, first of all, I've got to pump the uh, brake. And what that does is it pulls the fork legs into line. Now you tighten the screws up and then you find the axle screw. Now these are meant to be done to 10 Newton meters. So I'm gonna tighten these up now. Just alternating between. Front wheel spindle, 45 Newton meters of torque. Okay, let's get this back on the ramp and do the back wheel. I'm just about to start the back wheel, but I just thought I'd have a little look at the front. And it looks sweet. I really love the look of these wavy discs. Pretty much same procedure as the front wheel. T30 to remove your uh, speed sensor. 32 mil socket for your rear spindle. You need to push the brake caliper in to compress the piston so that it's easier to get off of the disc. That's your adjuster block. I always keep them on the same side that I take them off so that's gonna stay there. So once that's off, I'm just gonna give it a gentle tap with a, a plastic ended hammer. It. 
and you just want to release it far enough so that the rear wheel can push forward give the wheel a tap at the back and that will enable you to get your chain off I might have to take my chain guard That did not want to come out. T40 again. Thirty new meters of torque again for the rear brake disc. Right, push wheel forward, chain back on, pull wheel back, and then put, get the rest of the spindle through. So I'm pushing the wheel forwards now onto these adjustment nuts. So I've just pinched that. I'm going to check that these nuts are right up against them. 80 newton meters of torque, 8 zero. And then Fit your speed sensor back in, and that is 10 newton meters of torque. T27 torques, 10 newton meters. Now just pump your brake pedal a little bit, just to make sure that you've got the tension in it. That's perfect. So that's the front and rear discs done. So let's take it out for a spin and see what they like. Okay, before I get any speed up, let's just make sure that they stop me. Front brake. Yep. Back brake. I'm gonna take a little bit of wearing in. When I first pulled the brakes, it was almost like there was very little there. But I've been pulling them a little bit as I've been going along. And yeah, they are better. They're lovely. And the surprising thing is, there's actually more braking on the back as well now. So changing that back one, which I wasn't expecting much from, it has actually improved it. But that front brake now, yeah, that is good. That's better. Yeah, braking's as it should be now. Well, if you've got a 790, a Duke 790 and you're not massively happy with the brakes or if your brake discs are starting to warp and you're wondering whether it's worth upgrading to the wavy discs just the standard Galfer wavy discs I can definitely recommend it this is one of the best mods I've done this is an instant improvement and I would say now 
I'd say they're as good as the brakes that I've got on my Thruxton now. I mean, I haven't changed the master cylinders. They've got um, the double H sintered pads on, which I changed not that long ago. I know you, you technically are supposed to change the pads and discs at the same time, but the pads that I had on were already fairly new. So I haven't changed the pads this time, I've just changed the discs. So, I mean, there is an argument that I could maybe even get a bit more braking if I changed the, the pads as well. But I'm happy with them as they are. Well worth doing. And they look the bee's knees. Right, I'm gonna get over this roundabout and then I'm gonna open it up for a few seconds. Of course, a few seconds on this bike means quite fast. Just to see what the stopping is like from speed. Here we go. <laughs> Coming through. Oh my word. Flipping egg. That is. <laughs> they are hugely improved. That is good braking now. Very, very happy with that. Very happy with that. That is good braking. And I wasn't even pulling hard there. Very good. I can confirm putting the wavy discs on is a simple way of getting a very, very good improvement in the braking performance on a Duke 790. So, what's my conclusion on the wavy discs? Well, firstly, they look amazing. They've really, really improved the look of the wheels on a bike, I think. And secondly, and most importantly, they really, really have improved the braking performance. Whether it's 25% or even more, I don't know. It's, it's, you can definitely notice a difference when you pull the brake, big time. Um, which is what I was hoping to achieve, so I'm really, really happy with that. I feel like I've got the brakes on the bike that I, that I should have on the bike now. I hope this video has been of interest and if you are considering putting the Galfa wavy discs on your Duke 790, I can highly recommend it. It does make a massive improvement on the standard discs. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it or if it's been of any use, then please leave me a like. And as always, feel free to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell and you'll be notified anytime I do any more videos. Thank you very much for watching this one. See you in the next one. Bye. Right, MotoGP's on. I'm off.